In this video, I'm going to explain to you exactly how to use your Presto card on your phone. So as you can see, I have an iPhone, but if you have an Android, this also works just so you know. So the first step is going to be for us to go into our settings app. So go into your settings app. And then now when you're on your settings app, scroll down in here until you can see where it says wallet and Apple Pay. So click on wallet and Apple Pay. And by the way, if you're using an Android, you will need to go to Google Wallet instead or Google Pay, I think it's called. So go into that. It's going to be basically the exact same steps after that, just so you know. And what I'm going to do now when I'm on my wallet here, as you can see, I'm going to click on Add Card. So I'm going to click on Add Card. Just going to load here for me. So we need to wait a couple of seconds for it to load. And perfect. As you can see, we now get to this page right here. It gives us two alternatives, debit or credit card, but also travel card. But in this case, because we're using Presto, it is a travel card. So we're going to click on travel card and then we should be taken to this page right here, as you can see. Now on this page, we're just simply going to search for Presto. And as you can see, for me, I'm not able to see it right now. And that is basically because my location is not right now or my geographical location where I am right now is not accepting Presto. So where I am right now doesn't have this option. So that is why I'm not able to find Presto. But if you are in a geographical location that does have Presto, then you can just search for it in here. Then you will need to select it and then you will probably be able to scan that card or enter the details manually if you don't have the card physically near you right now. But I will probably say that it's much easier to scan it if you can. And yeah, basically after that, you will be able to add your Presto card to your phone. And after that, you will be able to use it. And as, it, as I said before, it's the exact same steps if you're using a Google wallet. So let me know in the comments below. Maybe if you have any questions, and I will try to answer to as many as I can. And also, I wish you the best day.